we leave Leon C in the very early hours of the morning. For those who garner in the saucy white bait must start off at break of day, or, so to speak, and in fact, miss the boat. Under the guidance of Mr. Young, whose ancestors have fished for white bait for centuries, we proceed to Hole Haven to catch the incoming tide, leaving South End Pier glistening in the early sunlight and passing the busy shipping en route. Mending our delicate nets as we proceed, we anchor in due course with our partners and overgo the nets, ready for the tide to bring us our catch. Everybody's busy, some washing the deck and others hauling in the big net. And it looks like a good harvest for the big London hotels and clubs. But that is where most of it will probably end. Here she comes, a heavy but gladsome load, a silvery hoard, soon to be turned into real silver, or at any rate, we hope so. Into the barrels now, where the white bait dies and sinks to the bottom, and the gore, or jellyfish, floats on top and is emptied overboard. Along with a few hardy white bait survivors, which the waiting gulls are always ready to devour. After a thorough wash, the bait is packed into boxes for landing at Canvey Island, ready for the rush by fast cars to the metropolis. Probably the freshest fish to reach there. For within two hours from now, they'll be in the kitchens of London itself.